In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to zip up multiple files into one zip file on a Mac. A zip file is kind of like a folder full of files, but all the files are compressed together to form one larger file. This makes it easier to upload or download or transfer a large batch of files, because you're really just transferring one large file. To create a zip file, the first thing you'll need to do is select all the files you want to zip. So if you already have all the files you want to zip sitting together in a folder or all together in one location, that will make it nice and easy to select them all. But if all the files you want to zip are scattered all over the place in different locations, you need to move them all into one location so that you can select them all at once. So. You could put them all on the desktop or somewhere like that, like Timmy did, or you could even create a folder named files to zip or something like that, and then put all the files you want to zip in that one location together to make them nice and easy to select. But whatever you decide to do, you'll need to have all your files in one place ready to select them all. And then once you have them all gathered together like this, you'll need to select them all. So if you wanted to only select specific files, so you don't want to select all of these, you just want to select some of them, you could hold down the command key and then click on certain files that you want to select to only put these few selected files into the zip file. Or if you want to select all of these, you could click on the top one, hold down shift and click on the bottom one. And now all of these files are selected and you can also select folders as well. So we can see here we have these two folders and if we go inside them, there's files inside them and even folders inside the folders and everything like that. So there's these two folders with files inside them. And if you want to, you can select these folders as though they're files and then the entire folder and all the files inside it will also be added to the zip file and it will maintain its original folder structure. So if you put these two folders and a bunch of other files in the one zip file, when you eventually extract the zip file to take the files out of it, all of the files will be inside the original folders and everything all in the correct position, just like they are right now. So you can do that if you want to. In this case, Timmy wants to zip absolutely everything here. So we'll click on the top folder at the top and then hold down shift you click on the bottom file and now all of these folders and everything in the folders and all of these loose files will all be put into the one zip file. And now, regardless of what configuration of files you've selected, once you've selected the files you want to zip, you'll need to right click on one of the selected files. So it doesn't matter which file you click, right click on, just any of the selected files. So we'll just choose this one and right click or two finger click on it. And now in this menu that appears, you need to come down and click compress. And now it will start to zip up all of these files and put them into one zip file. So if you had lots and lots of large files or a slightly slower computer, it might take quite a while for this process to happen and put all the files into the zip file. But as you can see here, Timmy's is already finished and it's named archive.zip and now we're done. So now this zip file contains all of these other files and folders. And it's just copied the files in here. So as you can see, we still have copies of all of them outside the zip file. So if you wanted to now, you could delete all of these loose files because they're all in the zip file or also, if you want to, you could just keep them on your computer, but you now have a copy of all these files in the zip file. And you might want to rename it so that you know what's actually inside the zip file. But now everything you selected has been zipped up into this one zip file. So now you can go ahead and upload it somewhere or transfer it in any way and do whatever you want to do with your zip file. So that's all there is to this video. But if you want to see how to open a zip file on a Mac and extract the files out of it, 
you want to watch this video here. So you'll click the video thing there, you'll click on that and it'll take you to the video. And there's nothing much more to say. Hopefully you've clicked it by now, so Timmy can probably disappear.